Hi, um, Leanne, this is your video. Earlier, uh, I was watching Ellen's video, and towards the end, I may have accidentally said your name. So, Ellen, I apologize for that, and Leanne, apologize for that too. Uh, I don't know why I'm taking too long to get adjusted to some things. Um, okay, uh, so there you go. I'm gonna watch this, I'm gonna play this video right now, and there you go. I'm watching this for the first time. <clears throat> this is very simple, distributing candies. Interesting when people see what's in the bag, they will reach out to take it. What if they can't see what's in the bag? I wonder. Wait a minute. Those are not candies. Those are wrapped things. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch it just now. Or were they actually candies? Or they are candies? I'm sorry. Students, staff, nobody was exempted. Nobody was exempt from your candy distribution. So if they were getting candies from you, so I suppose the point to this was everybody loves candies. <laughs> Oh man, that hair! That's really cool hair. One reject out of 16 attempts. So I chose 11 boys. 15 out of 23 chose the ones that are visually more interesting. That's the point of this. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Fifteen out of twenty-three. Fifteen out of twenty-three chose the ones that are visually more interesting. So that's why you allow them to see what's in the bag. Hmm. Maybe what I would, what have helped was a transparent container containing all these different candies, it assorted different packaging then they would be able to um, not peek into the bag but, but I don't know maybe it's the style that you want them to do maybe you want them to look into something like that and pick from there to see which one which which one of those visually appealing candies sort of like is more visual from 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 outside from the bag from the paper bag rather than a transparent bag transparent container so there, there may be different reasons, but then you got to, you got to complete that pr problem question. Like, uh, uh, you know, got to complete that. I mean, would they be able? How will they identify a visually interesting candy? You know, through what container or through where? Through where? Through what means? Or the distribution means or things like that. So there, there's some more details you can think about when you want to distribute something like that, or to be very, very sure. To be very certain that they chose the candy because it's visually appealing. 15 out of 23 may have, because there are other things that may have influenced their judgment. They might just like, I'm just going to take it for sake of taking it. Or, But the fact that I saw in the video, there, there was evidence that they were looking into the bag and they were actually selected. But to be very certain, um, it would be best to see why see them looking at the variety and selecting it so i know that's just another way of approaching this so but i think this has a lot of potential here um lien <laughs> a lot of potential here and um i i believe i believe you can take this further yeah if you, if you're going to do graphic design so i think this is a very very 
good start for a preliminary research or something. So well done to you, Liam. Thank you. Good job.